So now that iOS 17 is officially released to the general public, I wanted to share with you guys in this video a few settings you need to change immediately right after you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 17. These are going to be settings that will improve your user experience, improve your privacy, and much more. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first new feature you may want to look into and change is going to be live voicemail. Now live voicemail is a really cool new feature in iOS 17 that gives you a live transcript of a voicemail as the person on the other end is leaving a voicemail and I love this new feature. However, this does shorten the time that the phone will ring on the other end before you pick it up. So instead of ringing, I don't know, what is it, eight times, it would ring five times in order to allow live voicemails to trigger in order for you to see this live transcript of the person talking on the other end and then you can decide if you want to pick it up or not, right? So if you don't want this feature, you can find it in settings. You want to go into the phone extension here and under phone extension you have the live voicemail right there is the toggle so you can enable it or disable it as you wish again this will shorten the time of the rings on the other person's end but at the same time you can actually see a live transcript of the voicemail that way you can determine whether you should pick up the call or not so it is an awesome feature but some of you may not want it initially so this is how you turn it off next I want to talk about one of my favorite new features in iOS 17 and that is standby mode and now standby is enabled by default on all iPhones once you update to iOS 17. Of course, this feature automatically enables when you prop your iPhone on a dock at night horizontally just like so, and it is charging as you can see right here. So you, you have the ability to show things like the clock, the calendar, the weather, photos, and even notifications come in through standby. However, if you wanna turn this feature off or turn off notifications or even notifications previews, you can actually do that here in settings. So let's go into the standby mode options right here in settings. Let's scroll into standby, right there it is. Is. Now you have show notifications, of course, if you don't want notifications, you turn that off entirely. However, you also have a show preview on tap only. So basically when the notification comes in, your iPhone is on standby on your dock, you can click it, right? And then you'll be able to see the notification. Now, if you want to turn off standby completely, maybe you don't like it, you can go ahead and do that, of course, by clicking right here and you can turn off standby completely. And that way you don't have the feature enabling every time you prop your iPhone on a dock at night. So yeah, standby easily one of my favorite new features in iOS 17. And this is how you can adjust those notifications, notifications, previews, or even turn off the feature entirely. Now with iOS 17, Apple has also added some great improvements to AirDrop and AirPlay. Now of course, if you go into settings here, we go into general, we have our AirDrop options right here, and then we also have our AirPlay and handoff options right here. Now there's two things I wanna talk about here. The number one is the AirPlay option for automatic right here, automatically AirPlay. Now Apple has added an automatic option that enables your device to sort of learn using machine learning to actually AirPlay music or any content based on where you're at. So for example, example, if you go to your office every day and you connect to the HomePod to listen to music, your iPhone will remember that. And the next day when you play music on your iPhone, it will automatically play that music on the HomePod in your office because it already knows that that's what you do basically every single day. That's only if you select the automatic option right here. Now there's also a new improvement and change to AirDrop. Now in AirDrop, if you have another device nearby, you can actually send files by just touching two iPhones together. However, if if you have two iPhones next to each other and you don't mean to do this, this can actually trigger the AirDrop option. So right here, the option to bring device together, you can turn off all together. And that way, when you bring two devices together, maybe if you're hanging out with a friend or something like that, it doesn't accidentally trigger just like so, as you can see. You do have to get really close to the other device, however, but if you're anything like me and you have multiple devices around, this can actually trigger and become sort of annoying. Just having multiple iPhones laying on the table can actually trigger, as you can see right here this bring device together option will allow you to just turn that off and that way if you go ahead and place an iPhone next to another iPhone it won't automatically attempt to airdrop anything over to another device so those two options for airplay and airdrop I think you should definitely look into right after you update to iOS 17 now when it comes to Apple music Apple has added some great new features I do have an entire video of some of the best new features for Apple music in iOS 17 I'll link that in the description down below but in this video I'm going to talk about a specific option here for Apple Music. So let's go into Apple Music right here, options, and you have now a crossfade option with a scrubber here to change the time and length. So basically, crossfade allows you to go into the next song without basically skipping a beat, right? So it just crossfades from one song to another. I love this feature. If you don't like it, actually, you can turn it off right here.
here. I love this feature. I like to set it at about three seconds of a crossfade. And every time you play music within Apple Music, the rhythm just continues to flow with this crossfade option that Apple built into iOS 17. But you can actually turn it off if you don't like this option. Now, if you want to make your iPhone is slightly faster with the long presses, you can actually do that here as well. So let's go into settings. Let's go under accessibility options. And then we're going to go under touch. Right here, we have, of course, the haptic touch. This will allow you to make it faster in iOS 17. So before we had two options, now we have the fast option, which is faster than before. And now when you press, of course, we well, can do the slow here. You see that slow, it's obviously super slow. Then you have medium, you have the normal speed, and then fast will be super fast, as you can see right here, just fast. And it makes your device feel a lot snappier and faster. Something that I think you should definitely look into when you update to iOS 17. And now last but not least, if you have children, this option may be suitable for you. So you wanna go into settings here, you wanna go under privacy, and then you want to go into sensitive content warning. So basically if you enable this feature, of course, your iPhone will automatically blurt out any nude photos or videos. And you have several options right here. So if someone sends anything via AirDrop, if someone sends anything via contact message, or even a video with the FaceTime video message option now available in iOS 17, you'll be able to actually get that blur before you actually see the content. Again, very, very useful for parents. And if you want to just go ahead and use that option yourself, just as a form of prevention, it is available for you there under, again, that's going to be under privacy right here and security, scrolling down, and there it is, sensitive content warning. And there you guys have it. These are some of the settings I think you should definitely look into after you update to iOS 17. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the software, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.